is a recording of this year's virtual residency fair. We'd like to take the time to thank the programs that volunteered their time to present to this year's applicants. This year's PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by PMNR Recap and Ultrasound Guidance. PMNR Recap is the leading resource for your physiatry board preparation, clinical preparation, audition rotations, and beyond. PMNR Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and oral board cases to help you become the best physiatrist that you can be. Head to pmnrrecap.com to learn more. Ultrasound Guidance is the innovative new on online ultrasound learning platform that gives you instant access to expert instruction. With rapid scans and complete scans of every joint and peripheral nerve, Ultrasound Guidance is the perfect way to jumpstart your MSK ultrasound learning. Visit ultrasoundguidance.com to learn more. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for having us tonight. My name is Dr. Moku. I'm a PGY4 current chief resident at SUNY Upstate. Good evening, everyone. My name is uh, Chisholm Mogbo. I am one of the other chiefs, uh, also PGY4. So we're going to give you kind of an overview about uh, our PMNR program here at SUNY Upstate. Um, so we'll begin here. Um, so we're located in Syracuse, New York, um, right here in upstate. Um, if you're not familiar with that, about four hour drive from the city, um, New York City, that is, and then about three hours from Toronto. All right. And um, this is just a picture from our previous class. Um, to piggyback off of what Dr. Moku was saying, we are in a good location. Um, if you're one who likes to do road trips on weekends, um, you can get to New York City in four hours, Toronto in four hours, Montreal in four hours, Baltimore is about four and a half to five hours, and Boston is also um, driving distance. So you can do a lot of exploring within Syracuse and then our surrounding cities as well. Um, and then this is another picture of us when we had our <clears throat> welcome event for our incoming PGY2s. Um, and this picture was actually taken on the balcony of one of our uh, other co-residents, his home. And then, I don't know if they can move this out the way. And then there's just another picture of us um, all dressed up and hanging out. We like to take pictures in case you guys can't tell. So another picture there. And then, um, so brief history about the program. Uh, it was established in 1989 by uh, Dr. Robert Weber, who continues to be the program director. So I believe he is the longest running continuous program director um, for any physiatry residency across the country. Um, it did start with four faculty members, and now we've expanded um, considerably so with uh, some of our PGY4 residents from last year staying on as faculty as well. So it's a growing department. Um, we also have a spinal cord injury center at the VA where we where we do uh, spinal cord injury, inpatient spinal cord injury, uh, EMG clinics, rehab clinics, and um, other elective rotations. And then... Um, Dr. Turk, who is uh, uh, one of our attendings here, um, she's very big into disability research and, and the uh, dissemin dissemination center uh, here as well. All right, so at Upstate, um, we have the unique opportunity of working one-on-one -on -one with our attendings. Most of our rotations are two months long. Um, we are also a trauma level one hospital with a large referral base which means we get patients from um, as far as up to the border of Canada, um, down to New York City as well, too. Uh, we have both acute rehab um, facility and subacute as well, too. Um, and then one of the nice things about having call in our program is that it's home call. I'm actually on call right now. Um, but it's nice. I don't have to be in the hospital unless there's you know a need for me to go in. Um, we also get five months of elective. Um, <clears throat> we also have a spinal cord injury center, which um, if spinal cord injury is something that you're interested in, it's very nice because there's also a fellowship in, um, in spinal cord as well, too. Uh, we also have a pain medicine fellowship. 
um, wound care, which is through the Department of the Emergency Medicine Program, um, SCI again, um, TB, yeah, TBI, PEDS, and sports medicine. Currently, right now, we don't have a uh, TBI or PEDS fellow, but if that was something that you are interested in, there is like a capability to um, kind of resume the fellowship. And then uh, the pain medicine one is under the anesthesia department, but we work very closely and uh, historically they've taken at least one uh, from our department here. And then sports medicine is essentially brand new and it will be under the uh, physical medicine and rehab department uh, here in the near future, if that's something you're interested in. So as far as the residency rotations, so now as of um, this year, we started with our first categorical residence, meaning the PGY one year, uh, you'll be doing preliminary medicine at, at uh, SUNY Upstate, um, followed by two, three, and four um, with the PMNR department as well. A uh, little bit of the breakdown, PGY two year, um, one of the advantages we have here um, is that it's not... Uh, there are there's a nice mix of outpatient and inpatient rotations. It's not all inpatient as uh, as is popular. Um, so there's uh, MSK outpatient about three months of that. Uh, there's two months of pediatric outpatient rotation. There's um, two months of spinal cord injury and one month of elective, and then two four months of uh, acute inpatient rehab. And then three is as follows. Um, there's uh, you work at a subacute uh, rehab on the brain injury unit. Uh, there's uh, senior inpatient uh, about two months. You get MSK inpatient or MSK outpatient, sorry, and then um, two months of EMG. There's an interventional pain rotation that's already built in with the anesthesia department. Um, you get two months of consults and then um, two months of elective as well. And then PGY4 uh, is as follows. Um, with VA rehab, EMG, SCI, um, and then uh, SNF level rehab, and then two months of elective. All right. So our different rotation sites, um, we do a lot of our rotations um, on Upstate's campus in the down on the downtown campus, um, and we also rotate at Bone and Joint, uh, which is one of our MSK outpatient clinics, um, which is about. I would say no more than 15 minutes away from downtown campus if you're trying to live closer to the downtown area. Veterans Hospital is adjacent to um, the downtown hospital. Um, we also do have like a, a couple clinic days at the Institute of Human Performance where I think our brain injury, our concussion clinic, uh, yeah, concussion, concussion clinic days are mostly there. Um, and then we, at the moment, aren't rotating at a community general, but that was one of our sites. Um, and then St. Camillus, which is our subacute rehab facility, where you can also do your brain injury um, rotation as well, too. So what are the program perks? Um, I know these are some of the questions that uh, are popular with, um, at least when we started, I had some of these questions as well. So, you know, as far as health insurance, you know, we're a uh, state program. So we get New York state health insurance, um, dental vision. Um, at the VA, there is meal support. Um, you get about $8 a day, which is more than uh, you can cover. Um, and then there's vacation flexibility. Uh, being that there's, you know, six residents per class, it is a big program. So there's, um, um, you you have a little bit of choice uh, with how, when you want to take vacation. Uh, maternity, paternity leave is uh, very much supported in this program. Uh, we had quite a bit of maternity leave uh, in the prior years. And then we had uh, one of our PGY4s actually uh, take paternity leave as well this past year. So it's um, uh, very flexible. Uh, in terms of that, all the PGY threes will take a board review course, um, a national board review course, um, and that's uh, reimbursed. And you'll be off for about a week uh, just to go through, go through that, and then you'll have uh, coverage to do that. And then, as far as uh, national conferences, uh, historically we go to one at least, typically in the PGY four year uh, to AAPMNR. But um, if you have uh, 
posters, projects that you submit, then um, then there will be consideration to for for uh, reimbursement for other conferences as well, whether that's spinal cord injury, brain injury, AANEM, um, or AAPM and RAP, that sort of thing. And then listed to the right are the current salaries here uh, at Upstate. It is um, it is very livable here. Um, it's a about a 50-50 mix between residents who buy places versus rent. Um, so it's uh, uh, on this salary, you have enough left over to, you know, kind of enjoy it after, after the rent. All right. We do quite a few workshops here um, as well. We do EMG workshops, ultrasound, uh, cadaver anatomy, um, joint injection workshops. And then we also do things in the prosthetic lab. Uh, we also have Special Olympics here that we participate in um, yearly with helping with the um, health screenings. And then uh, it's very uh, flexible in terms of the learning. Uh, if you're particularly interested in something else, you know, uh, efforts will be made so you can have more of those experiences, you know, such as uh, uh, whether it's EMGs or, you know, ultrasound practice. Um, uh, we listen to the feedback um, and then we try to, you know, increase those experiences so you can have those. All right, and this is um, just a kind of give you like, I don't know if this, is, this is in the way, uh, some of our procedure requirements and um, a summary of like one of our residents getting to them. So basically by the time you're a PGY3, you could essentially complete your requirements for um, procedures. Um, a lot of them for this one person uh, was done in the PGY2 year and then the few left over were done in PGY3. So then PGY4, you don't have to like worry so much about having to catch up on um, your numbers. Oh, and then over there. And then so, yeah. Okay. So, where do our residents go? So, these are um, these are our graduated residents recently. So, it's it's actually a very nice mix of uh, fellowships and and jobs that people have taken. So, we have um, we have pain medicine, Dr. Napsing, uh, Van Win, Dr. Van Win, Dr. Jung Jae Lim, and Dr. Palmer. Uh, we've also had ob obesity and palliative care medicine, Dr. Wintman down here. Um, and then we have Dr. Lindahl who went to, uh, wound and hyperbarics right here at upstate. Um, and then we have, uh, Dr. Syed who, uh, is doing sniff consults out in Chicago. And then we have Dr. Klawan who actually stayed on as faculty and is currently one of our attendings. Um, she didn't do a PEDS fellowship, but, uh, her job, uh, it's been organized such that it's more PEDS focused. So she didn't have to. Um, but we have good retention um, of residents being our attending. So a lot of the attendings that we have right now have actually uh, trained in our program. And then uh, again, live cost of living here, um, like on the resident salary, you won't have to rely on oodles and noodles to survive. Um, this is actually one of the homes that uh, one of our residents purchased on their resident salary. Um, and then on the but this bottom picture is a, I think this was like the model loft design for one of the residents, again, on a resident salary. So cost of living here in Syracuse um, is very nice. And then we have uh, the tech company Micron. I don't know if how many of you are familiar with it. So they're gonna be starting a plant here. Um, and then there's gonna, there's gonna be, you know, prop property value is going to be going up, things like that. So there's going to be more jobs created here, more. Um, it's relatively bustling here, uh, relatively bustling city, but this is about to um, uh, increase uh, flow into the city as well. So I think it's about to get a, a whole lot larger. All right. And then, all, you know, residency is a time for learning, but also um, it's important to take breaks and to take care of yourself and your mental health. Um, so we do like to get out and do a lot of things. Um, we have the university games that you can go to 
skiing and snowboarding is also popular. Um, there's a lot of local restaurants um, that are available to check out. Um, breweries, bars are popular. Um, summer festivals is also, there's always something going on downtown. Um, like even during the week, there's like some type of festival going on. Um, boating and apple picking are also um, some popular activities. And then uh, just a picture of what uh, fall time in upstate New York looks like, very pretty when the leaves start to change. Um, and then more pictures of upstates. And then some pictures of our residents hanging out. Um, we did have this year, um, I think two of our residents were pregnant at the same time. So we had a uh, baby showers for them um, and then this is a picture of some of the girls in the program hanging out and then Dr. Klawan um, with her twins then, five minutes okay all right and I think that's it um, yeah so if any questions uh, you can reach out this is the actual email the C at upstate.edu and then we are, have an Instagram so follow us and send us questions there as well too. All right, I think we're good for questions now. If there are any questions, feel free to use the chat feature. Uh, how brutal are their winters? So I'm actually from Georgia. <laughs> I did not know what to expect when I moved up here, but I will say I'm a fourth year. I have survived. Um, you know, the first time you're around this of uh, this much snow, it's surprising. But I think if once you get a um, what is it, a snow brush, then you're good. Uh, so let's see. Is it preferred if DO? So to answer Pratik, uh, I did not take um, USMLE. Um, Comlex was enough. It didn't deter me. And some of our residents uh, previously have done the same. Yeah, I also did not take USMLE. So there, there, there's no bias towards that. So and now we're both chiefs. So <laughs> I don't think it, it made a difference. It'll be ultimately your performance while you're here. And then uh, didactics as of this year are actually attending led. Uh, we do have uh, student led didactics where we work with an attending to um, uh, create the lecture. So it's more um, more beneficial. And then when is the special Olympics? So that's typically in September. So this year it's gonna be the 10th weekend uh, coming up here uh, and it's on the Saturday. And then so you ask, okay, so the 240 on the step two, that is inaccurate. The, we can't say if that is a hard caught up or not. I would say if I was an um, you know, applicant, I would still apply um, because I think you do yourself a disservice if you're interested in a program and kind of just not even try. So just do your best. And then in addition to the Special Olympics, Outrage. Uh, let's see. Typically engage. Are we working with the sports medicine interest group? Yep. So, um, as far as like the medical students, they have um, uh, interest groups like PMNR interest groups, as well as sports medicine particular interest groups that uh, we work with very closely. Uh, the residents usually work with them to create cases, things like that. Uh, we also have bowling events with um, stroke patients. Um, so there's there is uh, community outreach, and it's also um, uh, open to it. Like if are there other adaptive sports opportunities the residents engage in? So this was actually, you know, the Special Olympics was the first. Uh, it was that opportunity was created after someone showed interest in it. So. I mean, as of now, um, if if you were to have interest, there will be, you know, there 
there will be you'll be given help to reach out to those opportunities to create those opportunities. Are there an opportunities to tour the campus prior to applications? Uh, I'm not actually sure about that. Um, I'm not sure that's a good question. We can email us. We'll reach out to our program coordinator, and then we'll see what if uh, if if it's being um, allowed. About and then, thirty seconds left. Yes. And then, do you accept IMG? Do you have years of graduation from medical school cutoff? So the first answer is yes. We have uh, two IMGs in the PGY four class, and um, as far as years of graduation from medical school cutoff, I actually am not sure. And I just put our email addresses in the chat in case anyone has any other questions. Thank you both so much. We really appreciate your presentation. It was really great.